Make a cake decorating bag. For those who often need cake decorating bags, getting the usual polyester bags can be expensive, especially if you need a lot of them. There is an alternate way to make piping bags, out of parchment paper. These bags are disposable and can be paired with different cake tips to make your own decoration. You can try making these at home and see if this is more convenient for you since you will not need to clean them up afterwards. You just need to throw them away. Materials that you will need Cake decorating tips tape parchment paper triangles Wilton brand If available cake decorating coupler If available scissors icing for decoration getting your parchment paper triangles the first step is to get hold of those parchment paper triangles specifically for icing piping. If you can get the Wilton branded ones, then so much the better. This is commonly available in baked craft stores, in the icing and cake decorating area. Next you need to position the triangle in such a way that its longest edge is pointing away from you and the main point is facing you. Forming your cone shape. The next thing you need to do is to hold the right hand area of your triangle and curl it a bit pointing towards you. You should then place the main point of your triangle against the side with the bottom part of your right side point on top of your center point. You will notice that you now have a cone shaped parchment piece. Hold all of the points that you have matched and wrap them around the left side of the parchment. You will have a fully formed cone by then. This is where you will place your icing mixture later on. Taping your cone. Now you need to tape the sides of the cone on the outer side of the paper so that the tape does not come in contact with your icing. Be sure to have your icing ready by this time for piping. You can also use this paper for piping out chos and other materials that would normally need a pastry piping bag. Cutting your parchment paper. You should now cut your parchment piping bag about an inch or so from its tip. This will be the point where you will insert your decorating tip in a while. From this point your cone will have a flat tip with the cut away portion. Putting your decorating tip. You can now drop your decorating tip inside your pastry bag. Carefully insert it through the tip until the edge of the decorating tip shows through. Screw the tip coupler on the outer portion of your bag to keep the tip secure. You can also use the bag with no tip by cutting a tiny point of the tip of your bag, instead of a 1 fourth inch hole. This tip will be good for writing letters or making very fine decorations on your cake or cupcake. You are now free to use your decorating bag as you would normally use it.